Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. And, well, while, uh, while working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, it kind of occurred to me that, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I got a second uh, Tesla card. So, and I remember seeing some time ago that um, there was an actual build you could do with it. There is uh, two Teslas, and I couldn't really remember what the other two cards were. So I don't, I don't know. Probably, probably something that I had to have played like, like two years ago on the third week in September or something like that when it was available in the Soul Forge or whatever. You know, basically, there was probably better cards than what I have right now. But as uh, I've only been playing for like a few months now. I haven't been playing way back when when such and such card was available in the Soul Forge. I just try to make do with what I got. Um, but. Anyway, I'm calling this the da -da 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 Charge It build. Sorry if I don't get the reference. But anyway, um, but the, but here, before I continue on, um, I'm going to go ahead and have some, uh, have some music going in the background. Now, I'm hoping that this music isn't copyrighted. It didn't say if it was or wasn't, but I'll go ahead and, uh, take the risk anyway. Um, this is going to be the, uh, uh, music to the uh, Tesla pinball machine off of Pinball FX3. So, I'll just have that one looping. And I gotta sound check it. Should be a little louder. Okay, there we go. Alright, but anyway, um, again, I got this. This is all reliable right here. Now, right now I have a tide collar. I think main, mainly for one, you start with 50% mana and you blow up a blue gem when matching four or more. And then, again, this here, I find this to be more reliable than, say, a Mountain Crusher or Leprechaun. Because uh, you don't. Uh, this is, I'm also going from uh, earlier experience from playing this game. Um, for, I had a I had a pinball build that I pulled out of the mothballs and started running with it. I made a video about this yesterday, but just just getting more and more ticked off because I'm trying to blow the board with those two, but hardly having any green or brown gems on the board, which is what's required in order to make them work. Whereas this here. You're gonna blow up four of them as long as you have a, a blue and or elemental, which now that I think about it. Um Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that. Actually, you know what? Let me look at something here. Well, they're not max. Spell is kind of nice, but let me see if Knight had it. Um, something about human. May I think there's something like humans getting up, uh, human allies getting plus 50% mana or something like that. Oh, I ain't seeing it. Well, there's that. Like I said, I'm kind of intrigued at the moment. Yeah, I could have sworn there was one that gave a uh, human allies 50% uh, mana. Dragon Guard, maybe? Yeah, and I think, um,. The next class trial is going to be Dragon Guard, so yeah, I'd, so I'll just go with Elementalist. So yeah, go with that, go with that. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll keep that the way it is. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, go with Elementalist. Wait, uh, Frost Mage. Let me look at Frost Mage real quick. Yeah, they start with fifty percent too. I'll just um, uh, I'll stick with Elementalist. Okay, so anyway, but again, Tesla, they um. And I, I think it was Honest Rob who said this. Um, I can't recall any other any other YouTuber or Twitch Twitch player that I've watched saying this too. But one of the, I kind of said this about Goblin Shaman too in one of my other videos. It's a flat number, deal eight damage. So that means this card is useful. Okay, we are not working for some reason. There we go. But, um, like I was saying, it's a flat number, so it's always going to be useful, no matter uh, what your magic level is. Yeah, what the hell is going on? My uh, game's lagging right now. Okay, I'm going to have to bail out of this. Uh, come on. Gonna set everything to low. Set it to off. Figuring that's probably uh that'll probably fix my issue there. Go over here, then I'll probably leave the badges the way they are, they boost your armor. Yeah, game is lagging like big time. So elementalist, and then um Then I have a sunken banner, plus two to blue, one to red, uh, minus on the green. And again, I got this for uh, blowing the board, so it looks like I'm thinking it's going to explode 16 gems, if I'm counting it right, for the three, the three blue cards I have, and plus I'm an elemental. So that, yeah, 16, seems like a small number. But um, it might not might not be as big as like Mountain Crusher or Leprechaun. But the thing of it is, is with those ones there, you have to have enough jumps on the board in order in order to get use out of it. And again, I'm this is also going by uh, experience too. Just been having a lot of uh, bad situations where I have. Here. Let me let me go on it for at least for those that don't know what the weapon is. Mountain Crusher, pretty popular item, but again, but having bad experiences with this, like hardly having any brown gems on the board as it is, so which means it's not that useful. Anyway, and then Clockwork Sphinx, uh, destroy all gems of a chosen color, so this should help me out. Give me some selectivity here. Give all allies 27 armor, boosted by gems destroyed. Which again, this is um, and this damage here is boosted by all ally and enemy armor, so it's a grand total. Uh, it's a four for one ratio. So. Man. But um, originally. Originally, I was going to put Royal Engineer in here. Uh, especially for uh, Fire Link. Uh, bonus red mana. And then give up. I don't know that I think about it. Okay, so yeah, she... She gives uh, more armor to everybody. And uh, it's also boostable. And you get to choose which uh, color you want to destroy. Okay, so yeah. But like I said, originally I wanted him in here. Um, but uh, 
it feels like summoning one of these would, would feel like a waste. Or like a waste of a uh, waste of an ability. So, but anyway, um, let me do another sound test. So let me go ahead and test this out. Um, I guess here is about as good as any. Again, this is dealing and this is dealing true damage too so it's going right it's ignoring the armor and going straight to the light oh damn it's a huge chunk so let's do that again and there's that lag I could have sworn I turn all the graphics uh, settings to the lowest oh there we go <laughs> make a mod to something There's still that lag. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be this easy. I mean, I, yeah, I get that. Um, I get the damage that that the damage scales with enemy armor too. But I mean, if you look at the ratio, four for one. That means for every four points of armor, the damage increases by one point. I mean. I mean, I was expecting a little bit of a damage boost, but not enough to end a match in like two turns. <laughs> no, I'm uh, I'm kind of thinking about maybe putting in Ice Troll. I believe it's the one that uh, either Ice Troll or a uh, Lava Troll. I think it's one of those two. They uh, double the amount of red. Or blue jumps on the board and adds three more. I think I would maybe adding one of them. Oh, so much for that. seeing a drawback here. I'm still trying to remember which one gave off. Which class, I think it's a class that gave humans off. 50% more arm, 50% mana start. No, well, Surge would have been nice.
All right. Probably should have done this a long time ago. Surge would have been nice. Yeah, I better get this now. There it goes again. I'm, I'm thinking you might have to restart the game in order for the graphics changes to take effect. And, well, he ain't pervious. But yeah. So, got that going. So, I'm guessing everything else should center around uh, trying to get Tesla up as quickly as possible. Um. Yeah, so let's do that. Oh, damn. What's he cost? Uh, yellow and green. Um, let's see, where is... No, that's blue, blue and brown. Sea Troll. Uh, purple and green. Yeah, I think it was this one here. Problem is, he takes purple and green though, so... I'm sure his is red, or red and brown. I mean, that's the thing, there's like absolutely no overlap. Otherwise, I'd love this one. I'm not going to worry about trading this out because there's nothing that's really going to be nothing that's going to really be useful for the entire group. What I will do is I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and try them out anyway. Um, this troll is on fire. And he's elemental too, that's another thing. So. Well, let me let me try this. Oh, well, so much for that. for the help, man. Yeah, if there's any more for us, I'll go ahead and grab them. Oh, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> and 
I might try up. I might try PvP with this. I don't know though. Oh shoot, this is a boss battle too. I can't back out. Surge would have been nice. There we go. Uh, let me check for any fours or fives first, which there are none. Seven. Um. Uh, so plus sixteen. Nope, didn't work. That helped a bit, though. There we go. Okay, so let's try another D twelve. So, Frostfire Troll, in theory, pretty good. But, again, I, the, this part here kind of went right by me, creating a mixture, a mix of blue and red. I, I was reading this as double the amount, so not quite that great. Same thing here. Nothing really that useful, so I'll just go ahead and leave it. Um, oh, damn, blue. And then, um, for the class... Let me uh, find out which one it was. Okay, that's freezing. Uh, probably Tide Caller. I don't. Yeah, I don't think Orb Weaver had anything good or anything useful for this build. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah so it's probably gonna be Tide Caller. Especially this exploding the blue gem and starting with uh, starting at fifty percent mana. Yeah, this one as well. Come on, Joe, equip it. All right, so let's try this one. Medalist now. So. Bad call. Luckily, it uh, luckily frozen kicked in.
something else I forgot to look at. Yeah, and he's an elemental too, so... He's blue and an elemental, so... My elf. My book could be blowing more gems. There we go. Yeah, this is still lagging. Merge is a problem. Um, yeah, I'll do that. So it looks like, um, Especially for PvP, I'm gonna have to find a, I'm gonna have to find a, or I'm gonna have to find some kind of curse, some kind of curse effect to take off some merges because some of them builds on there, um, some girl, her name is like Aquarius or something like that, but she has a trait where any kind of four or five match, she'll, she'll submerge the entire group. So yeah, that's something you need to stun and or need to take down with curse. Wait a minute, I think I know. Submerging that every time he takes damage. So. so. Yeah, here we go with this again. Not enough. So now I gotta start picking. And... Oh wait. There we go. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill it here. Okay, but anyway, I just wanted to do that demo run. Um, I'll continue working on this. Off, um, I'll continue working on this throughout the night. So, but so far it looks like this built a lock. But I kind of wanted to do a do a PvP run with this group as well. But um, considering a uh, submerge is really a problem for this build, I'm gonna have, I'm not even gonna take this to PvP until I can get that resolved. Like like I said, I gotta get some kind of curse effect in there. Um, Mirage Queen comes to mind, but problem problem with that is is uh, I need a I need a way to have a fair amount of green gems on the board in order to make the most of that ability. Um, I think I could probably go with Frost Feather. In fact, let me take a look at that. Um, and it's an elemental too, and it's blue. So in fact So yeah, and this could probably be a a one time thing right here. Um, like I like I said, throughout the night I'll keep working on this build, but for right now I'll just put Frost Feather in there instead, especially for PvP. So. Uh, but 
otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, th thanks for watching. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.